In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build your own audio recorder that will allow you to download your audios to your device from your browser. So in here, we have this simple audio button. I can hit this and record my voice. So right now I am recording my voice. I can then click it again to stop recording. And then when I hit play on the player, I can hit this and record my voice. So right now I am recording my voice button. And there you go. You can see it actually played back what I just said to us. And then I can click on the three dots and hit download. And then we can open this up. I can hit this and record my voice. So right now I am recording my voice. And there you go. You can see how that works, how simple it is. And it's actually really easy to do in code. So without further ado, let's actually get in to programming. So I've got an empty uh, folder here where I'm going to empty folder here inside official studio code. And I'm just going to start off by creating an index.html. Uh, and I'm just going to press exclamation mark and tab to get this boilerplate here. And we're just going to name this audio recorder recorder there we go i'm then going to link uh material google fonts material icons you can find this there'll be a link down below how you can add this in but it's simply just adding in this link this is just for the mic icon if you don't want to use the mic icon and use something else then you're more than welcome to do so I'm then going to link a main.css file, which we're going to create now, main.css, and we're also going to create a main.js as well. Inside of our body, we are going to have a main tag. This is going to hold all of our main HTML elements, and we'll have a button with the class of Mike toggle and the ID of mic as well. And inside this, we're going to have a span with the class of material icons, and we're going to say mic. So this is us using the actual uh, material icons here. Um, if you want to learn more about this, again, the link will be down below. This is just how we can use icons in our project. Now we want the main tag, which is going to be oh, the audio source down here. Uh, and I'm going to have the class of play back as well as controls. And that is all we need for the HTML. Although I am missing one thing, which is the script source tag here, where we're going to tag in or we're going to import or connect up our main.js file. Now in our CSS, I'm actually going to paste in the CSS, but I'm going to go through it with you. So if you want to uh, go through this, it's pretty simple. So in here, we have a target for everything and we are just resetting the margin, the padding and making sure everything has a border box and a sans serif font. We then reset the button by just saying it's appearance, border, outline, and background to none. We then set the cursor to pointer. I then get the body and just give it a default gray background color. And then we get our main tag, which is right here, and make it run on a flex box with a direction of the column. And then we align the items to the center, which will bring them to the center of the screen. We then add in a padding of 4rem, 2rem, just to give it some spacing. I then go through and add a mic toggle uh, class and set its position to relative. Display block width and height at 8rem, 50% border uh, radius. Give it a background color and awesome some margin at the bottom. Now, this is how we do the fancy animation where you click the record button and it actually does the little recording. Uh, the little like pulsation. Uh, here, I just add a mic, an after and a before to our mic, set up a variable, um, give it a content, a display of block, position of absolute, C index zero, background of 2202060.0.2, and then set the top left, right, and bottom to the variable pad, which we created above. I then set the border radius to 50%. I then give them both a slightly delayed um, transition duration. So for the uh, after, I give it 0 0.4 and the before, I give it 0 0.2. We then go to our mic toggle and I when we hover over it, we set the padding equal to minus 1 rem. And when we hover after hover over the after we set the padding to minus two rem which will change the top left right and bottom since they all use the pad variable i then go to mic 
toggle span where we set the um, actual element to be position relative. C index one, so it sits above these uh, before and after tags. And then we give it a color of white with a larger font size to make the mic icon a lot bigger. Now we add a class here called is recording, which we're going to add dynamically via JavaScript uh, to our element when we're recording the audio. Uh, and then we add these uh, animations in, which just sets the top left, right, and bottom to minus two rem, minus one rem. And for the before, it's minus one rem and minus 0 0.5 rem. Finally, I just set this playback button here to with a margin bottom, a box shadow, and a border radius all here, as you can see, to give it its shape. Now, if we press our comma here, I can actually run mpx surf dot uh, to run a local web surfer, which we can then come here, refresh, and you can see how this currently looks. So you can see we have our mic. Um, when we hover over it, it has the uh, uh, little pulse effect and also the audio playback device here. Now let's get on to the actual functionality of this. So in the functionality, we want to set the mic button or get the mic button from our document or our query, uh, DOM element, sorry. And we want to set a query selector to hashtag mic. This will select our ID of mic element here and return this button. We then would like to get the playback, which will also be a query selector, but this time it'll just have a class of playback to find. We then want to just add a add event listener to our uh, mic, which is just going to say toggle mic. Now we'll create this function in a moment, but first let's add in a few more variables. We're going to have a can record, which will be equal to false, a record or an is recording which will also be equal to false and then we need a recorder the recorder is actually going to be the media your microphone um, which we'll set this to it in a moment and then we want to create some chunks in an array now an array of chunks is this is just going to allow us to store anything we record in segments in an array so we can convert it to a blob later on so now we've done that let's set up our first function which is going to be our setup audio this is going to be used to get access to all our microphone and everything like that we're going to be using the media api for this so what we're going to say is now navigator.media devices and navigator.media devices dot get user media and all we're doing here is we're checking if these exist if this exists that means um media api is currently available and we can actually get reference to our mic so what we're going to do is we're going to use navigator.get media uh, devices and we're going to do dot get user media. Now in here, we can pass in a few parameters. You could even ask if you want video playback, but we just want some audio playback and we're gonna set this to true. I'm then going to get the stream and we are gonna call setup stream, or we can actually just pass this through as one function to the dot then callback um, to actually pass it through. We can then catch any errors and just do console.error and pass in our error. And I realize this needs to be inside of some brackets there. And that is all we need for our setup audio. Now, to make sure this is working, let's just log oh, setup here, select setup audio, and call this. Now, when we refresh, you're not going to see anything happen except from the toggle mic is not defined. That is fair enough. Let's just go back in our code here and just comment out this for a second so we can actually see this working. You can see here it says setup audio and setup stream is not defined, which is fine. What we want to do though is it should ask for permissions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset my permissions, refresh the page, and it's going to ask up here, do you want to use your microphone? And we can hit allow. Now let's go back to our code and actually set up the functions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncomment this. I'm also going to create a new function called setup stream, which is how we're going to set up our recorder to record the audio. So this is going to get a variable or a, um, a parameter of stream. And in here, we want to set our recorder equal to a new 
media recorder, which is used to capture audio or streams audio. And here we're just going to say recorder dot on data available. We're going to say equal to an arrow function, which passes a parameter of E. And then we're going to get our chunks and we're going to push E dot data. Now, this is going to create a chunk of data every so often, so often that we can uh, push it to our chunks array, which we can turn to a blob later. So then when we stop recording, so we're going to say on stop, we're going to do the same thing with the E, but this time we're actually going to create the blob of data from our chunks array. And now we just need to tell it what type of data this is. Now the data is going to be audio slash, and we're going to use OGG. Now you can actually use um, whatever um, audio uh, file you want, whatever type. I'm just going to use OGG. It works well for what I want to do. Uh, but you should have a look online for the other types you can use. And I'm going to use the Codex Opus for its compression. We don't want to just set the chunks equal to an empty array because we've used them and we no longer need them. So if we start recording again, this will be an empty array, which is what we want. I can then go to, I can then turn the blob into an audio URL by going window dot URL dot create object URL and we can pass in our blob. We then want to get our playback, which is our audio tag here, and we want to set its source equal to that audio URL. This is going to be the blob of data in a URL so it can play it back to us in the browser and also allow us to download it. Finally, after all this, I'm just going to say can record is equal to true inside of the setup stream function. Now we need to create the toggle mic function so we can actually start recording once we've got access to our microphone. So first things first, we're going to check if we can't record. So we'll say can record is not true and we're just going to return, meaning we're going to do nothing. If we can't record, um, if our mic's not working or there's some issues, then we will um, stop you from recording. We're then going to set is recording equal to not is recording so we can then check if if we're recording so if we're recording we're going to get our recorder and call start this is going to start the recorder listening to our stream of data we then want to get our mic button dot class list and then we're going to add the class of is recording which is in our main css to make it animate we can then do else and what we could do is just copy this and we're going to change the start to stop and the add to remove. So we're going to, if we aren't recording, then we're going to stop the recorder and remove the is recording class to stop the animation. And that is all we need to get this working. So let's hit record. So hello, my name is Tyler Potts and welcome to another YouTube video. We can stop this and I'm going to hit play and you're going to hear what I just said back to us. So hello, my name is Tyler Potts and welcome to another YouTube video. And there you go. Now we can actually hit download and get that new file in a downloaded state. So hello, my name is Tyler Potts. And and there you go. You can see it downloads, it works, and it's f working very well. And then you can just hit record again and record over your last one to create a new recording as well. Now, if you want to do saved recording, so if you want to be able to save the recording down here, it's a preset. That's something we can actually do by creating a recording array. Um, but if you want to know that, if you want to learn how to do that, let me know and I'll create a video on it down below. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. So if you like the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.